Today is February 19th and there have been some recent developments for the Mary Brandon situation. She claimed that she had colon cancer. Well, funny enough, she didn't have colon cancer and she lied. I saw this post today and I thought it was very interesting because right away we can see that this isn't the first time that Mary has set up a donation page. She previously set one up to get a new laptop. Help Mary get a laptop to start her new job. According to the 2022 Occupational Wage Survey, the average monthly salary in the Philippines is Philippine pesos $18,420 which translates to around $330 US. Now, why did I bring up that she asked for a laptop and set up a donation page for that? That's a good question because obviously faking cancer is way more loaded than asking your audience to financially support you by helping you get a new laptop so that you can make better videos, which I don't know why because realistically their videos aren't that good and don't require that much editing in the first place. So that just feels like another money grab in itself. However, it's not as treacherous as what she did recently. This was inexcusable, right? And immoral and evil, especially when cancer has affected so many lives. Now, the reason why I want to bring this up is because when someone is financially in a bad place because of the irresponsible decisions that they've made both on and off camera that we've all seen on a TV show, why in the world would you reward bad behavior? Why do you feel like it's your responsibility to help out someone that not only shows disdain for our country, but lies on multiple accounts and we have evidence of that? Check out this dumb comment from a Mary fan. Y'all in these comments are the highest form of privilege, laughing face. This is what's wrong with America's lack of empathy and support, shake my head. Let the girl make her money. They're a thing my grandma said, mind your business. You know what? This person is obviously a moron, so I'm just gonna lay them out here. When you go on the internet and you make your business everyone's business by lying and saying that you have colon cancer when you in fact don't, right away you're involving the entire audience, you're involving the entire world. She self-diagnosed after watching a couple of TikToks and publicly said that she had colon cancer when she didn't. The picture she used at first that has since been changed to a more updated photo to try and sell the scam better was from when she was delivering her baby midnight. So right away there were a lot of suspect things about the page, but to go on a public platform and tell the whole world that you have colon cancer when you don't is an outright lie. And to set up a page to receive donations when you don't have cancer and you lied about that, that's fraudulent, that's a scam. And you should be held accountable for that. And people should be in your business when you make your business known and shove your business down everyone's throat and then try to use God to silence people because that's what Mary does and I brought that up in the last video. Mary constantly has this holier than thou attitude and will say passive aggressive things involving God. Almost like she speaks for God saying God bless, God sees everything. God does see everything Mary. God just saw you lie about cancer and try to scam the very people that support you. Kiki and Kibitz responded to the stupid person. When she's involving the fans in a possible scam, then she is involving everyone in her business. Mary never had a problem involving all the fans other times she asked for money. The real Barber events he followed up with, are you kidding me? Lying about being diagnosed with cancer? Starting a donation page when everyone else in the Philippines all have health coverage? So if she did have cancer, she is still lying and scamming the fans. This has nothing to do with fans of 90 Fiance being entitled and everything to do with being fed up with this couple's bullshit. Funny to see this person talk about privilege and try to label everyone else's privilege when we all work real jobs. We weren't on the show 90 Day Fiance. If anything, everyone that goes on these TV shows is privileged because there's about 15 other people plus an entire camera crew making them look good, doing all the editing, doing all of the work. All they have to do is be their lame selves and a lot of them don't even have personalities. They have no talents. So how is that not privileged? To go on a show and then all of a sudden get a boost on Instagram on every other social media platform, be up 50,000, 100,000 plus followers, and all of a sudden you're a social media influencer and you can make money online. Meanwhile, every other content creator has to film themselves, edit themselves, put in that work in terms of marketing. They have to do so many things that cast members of the show don't have to do. So how can we say that that's not privilege in itself? And to be able to set up a donation page when you're a confirmed liar and get over $1,000 within only a day or two, 
That in itself is a privileged position. And not only does this show how gullible some people are, but it also shows how toxic fan culture is. And if I'm mad about the situation, I can only imagine how furious the people that donated were that believed Mary at face value. They started to donate $1 just to give their two cents about the situation and how they feel about Mary scamming everyone. Laugh my ass off, y'all. She does not have cancer. Her and her husband are just too lazy to find proper jobs and support themselves. So they have decided to grift and scam. She self-diagnosed. It was never confirmed by a doctor, but yet she continued to say that she had cancer and was going to have surgery the next day. Babe, the more bad stuff you're doing, the more karma you're creating for your child. Like imagine how embarrassing it is to have scammers as parents, but enjoy the dollar. I can actually afford to send it because I have a job like a normal person. Maybe y'all should think about getting one. Laugh my ass off. Yo, he bodied Mary there. That was so funny. That sounds like something I would write. Next up, we got Felicia T that donated a dollar and said, she is lying about having cancer. When people questioned her about the cancer, she posted a Facebook that she had some symptoms and was sent for tests because she might have a UTI. She has not even seen the doctor to get the results. Mary assumed she had cancer because of TikTok videos. This is a scam. I agree with what Felicia's saying here. It is beyond irresponsible to do something like this when you have this big platform and try to scam the very people that are trying to show up for you and support you. And what's interesting about Brandon and Mary is that they didn't have to move this way. I was the only commentator that makes YouTube videos about the 90 day cast members that actually tried to give them advice for how to make their YouTube videos better. If you've seen that old video, we've made a bunch of videos about them because they acted super cringe on the show and off the show. And I actually brought this point up on Instagram. I posted, God sees everything Mary and Brandon. I tagged Brandon lying about having colon cancer and setting up a donation page to scam your audience is an all time low. Keep playing video games and fart because it's only a matter of time before y'all get deplatformed and then I tagged Instagram. I put some Halo music in the background because that was my favorite game growing up and I played it a lot. I'm telling you what, Halo 2, Halo 3, that was probably my peak gaming. But nowadays I'm an adult so I have to use games as a reward and that's something that I've always advised Brandon on. Like set a timer on your phone so you take 30 minutes or an hour to game and then the rest of the day you can spend trying to find a job and not hand the reins for your life to marry someone that's immoral, someone that lies, someone that has a low IQ. Mary and Brandon posted, just to be clear, we don't know if Mary have colon cancer yet. Yes, she posted on her IG that she have colon cancer because she watched TikTok videos of what the symptoms of colon cancer and she have all of it. And on February 16th, we went to the center and have her check up and the nurse said maybe she got UTI and a possible colon cancer. That's why Mary is very scared. So the nurse gave us referral to admit Mary at the city hospital and we went there next day. We went to the ER and we talked to the doctor and the doctor said that Mary needs laboratory first, so we did that. We go to laboratory and have her pee and poop on a cup. The way this is worded, good Lord. We go to the laboratory and have her pee and poop on a cup and have her blood test and we wait for the result. After an hour, the result is there and the doctor also said that Mary have blood infection and Mary needs whole day abdominal ultrasound and x-ray. And we did that and we got the result. The result is in our hands now and we need to go back to the hospital tomorrow to give it to the OPD to analyze the results of her ultrasound and x-ray. And the doctor said we need to wait for the result and he will send us another doctor for a referral to do the colonoscopy. We are still dot dot dot, Mary's still in pain. Please stop spreading fake news. Y'all were the ones that spread fake news. You said publicly that she has colon cancer and she pleaded with the entire world that she's worried about dying. She's scared to die and she wants to stay alive to be there for her daughter midnight. Y'all set up a donation page the same day before you got any results and scam the very audience that you've obtained from going on 90 Day Fiance. I feel like I keep repeating myself, but I can't understand this. The way that you move is so ass backwards. You have dug your own grave because now there are gonna be so many people that come for you to get you deplatformed on every social media site. Look at this response to a fan's question from days ago. The fan asked, what kind of surgery? Hope all goes well. Mary and Brandon's response is removing her colon cancer and its early stage. Mary must be confused because we're not as easy to manipulate or gaslight as White Knight Brandon is. So trying to shift the blame onto us saying that we're spreading misinformation 
or we don't have a good grasp on the situation is comedy gold. Good news everyone, if we look at the go get funding page that Mary started, we can see that the campaign has been temporarily stopped. As we can see, the total that Mary managed to raise before the campaign was stopped is $1,326. Go get funding has been requested or required to stop this campaign. All of the money that was donated should go back to the people that donated in the first place because she lied about having colon cancer and der, right? Let me know what y'all think about the situation, Brandon and Mary's elaborate scam. I'll be honest, I've been reviewing this show for a long time. I have never seen someone go this low. To actually lie about something loaded like this is disgusting. Let's call it what it is, it's gross. I'm gonna be providing update videos about the situation. I got a whole bunch of DMs from 90 Day Update, our friend on IG. So I'm gonna dive into the lore and see what else fans are saying, see what else Brandon and Mary posted before they deleted their posts. They're really trying to backtrack now. And I'll tell you what, the damage is done. A little prescription here. and possibly a colonoscopy if she's still experiencing uh, bleeding in the stools or throwing up or abdominal pain. 